Here at the federal courthouse in downtown Louisville, Judge Benjamin Beaton questioned whether Dino Gaudio's actions even warranted federal felony charges. Like all of us, he, he's got a temper and he said some things that he shouldn't have said and unfortunately they were taped. Dino Gaudio did not speak to the press after his sentencing, but in court he told the judge, I made an error in judgment and I take full responsibility for that. It's very atypical for how I lived my life and the court, you can rest assured, it will never happen again in my life. This happened solely because he got angry and he made these statements because he felt betrayed. After sentencing Gaudio, Judge Benjamin Beaton said in court, if I could give less, I'd certainly think hard about doing so under these circumstances. Judge Beaton also referenced dozens of letters sent to him on behalf of Gaudio. Literally in those character letters, there are people talking about how they got through combat because of the life lessons that Dino taught them. Federal prosecutors said they agreed to a plea deal of one year probation and a $10,000 fine because of Gaudio's cooperation with them. He was very pleased. I mean, you, you never know. I mean, we walked in there with a sentencing guideline recommendation of two years in prison. Gaudio's attorney, Brian Butler, would not say whether his client has spoken to or plans to speak to the NCAA about his allegations against UofL. As for Gaudio's future... Dino Gaudio deserves to be either coaching uh, or being an analyst in basketball. He loves the sport. He's changed countless lives. It would be a tragedy for us all if he is not back in the game of basketball because of this. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.